Place the ball on the determinator with the pin aligned with the eye hole of the support arm. Turn the determinator on and trace the ball path through the eye hole. The ball will eventually spin about a fixed axis. This is known as the preferred spin axis, or PSA. This PSA represents the Y or high RG axis of the bowling ball. Mark the spot through the eye hole and the top of the arm, creating a small circle about the PSA. Using the ProSect, draw a line from the PSA towards and through the manufacturer pin of the bowling ball. Mark the point six and three quarter inches from the PSA along this line. This will represent your x-axis. Now draw a perpendicular line from the x-axis towards the equator of the bowling ball. Mark a spot six and three quarter inches down from the line from the x-axis. This will give you the z or intermediate rg axis. To ensure the accuracy of this location, take your prosect and measure perpendicular from the x-axis to y-axis line towards the z-axis. This line should directly intersect where your z-axis is marked and be six and three-quarter inches in length. If they do intersect and your line is six and three-quarter inches, you have correctly found all three axes. If not, be sure to check that your lines are six and three-quarter inches long, this is a quarter of a bowling ball circumference, and perpendicularly intersect at the axis locations.